Hello everybody, this is Tekka. This is a beautiful Monday morning, and it is the first day of a new month. So we're going to start off a little bit mellow, and what I'm going to do is just sh show you guys a product that a company went ahead and sent over. There were no like sponsorship agreements or anything like that, they just kind of sent it over. But the, the thing's really cool, so I wanted to uh, show it to you guys. You could actually see it in frame, it is that guy right there. I've been in the process of kind of moving around this office and trying to clean it up. I still have a little bit of work to do, uh, but it's coming along here. And this is probably going to stay in the background for quite some time. And I'm going to grab it real quick. All right. And this is it right here. What this is, is a uh, recycled iPhone 5. The reason why I picked the iPhone 5, they have a whole bunch of different devices, primarily iPhones that you could go ahead and pick out, is this was the very first iPhone. And the second to last iPhone that I've ever used. Out of all the iPhones, in my opinion, this one is by far the most beautiful when it comes to the design and everything like that. But I mean, this thing's really cool. You can see all the different components that you can actually take apart and everything's labeled so you actually know what you're looking at. Like over here, we have the screen, the home button, the button board, the actual battery. We can see the front camera was taken out. And then over here we have the main board and all the other components that go together to make that. And then of course the iPhone. So just a beautiful piece of art, especially if you're somebody who is like an Apple enthusiast. Now they don't only have Apple products. If I go over to their website here real quick, uh, you can see they do mostly have a, like they have the iPhone, they have the iWatch, but this right here is super cool. I wish, I almost wish I would have uh, gotten one of these. They have a uh, Game Boy Color, a yellow one, and if we go ahead and take a look at this, uh, the Game Boys here, we could see some of the components and the font and everything is proper. I don't know, it's just super cool. If we go over to Shop All, you can see some of the other things they have, and this is cool. If you already have like an old iPhone in a drawer, you can just order the frame with this really nice back paper that will allow you to kind of take the thing apart yourself and put all the components where they need to go. And then they have the adhesive that they use. You can probably just go to a hardware store and get some something to the equivalent of this if you would like to. But yeah, that that's this product. It's nothing too uh, nothing too crazy. There's not a lot going on here. Uh, to give it a general review, the quality of the materials is fairly decent. The this is actual wood. It's not like press board or anything like that. This right here. That is a uh, plastic, which I was hoping it would have been glass, but I mean, you're not really going to be touching it too much and they probably are uh, preventing a lot of issues with shipping because it did ship uh, fairly tight. That's uh, one way to save on costs. If I flip it over to the back here, it's just these little plastic tabs to go ahead and take this back off, exposing just the blackboard. And then this right here just lifts out. It's on a piece of like pretty thick cardboard paper. So let's go ahead and put this back together here. There we go, it is now together, and I'm going to go hang it back up on the wall. But before I do that, this was in the box. All right, there we go. It is now back on the wall, and it's probably, hopefully, a permanent spot. Now, if you go ahead and check out their About Us, they're a fairly decent company, and it's really cool what they're doing here with uh, getting this old tech that would have been thrown in a drawer or just become e-waste, and turning it into art, especially for people who've actually used these devices, and they are, uh, a substantial part of their life and their introduction to tech. So yeah, I'll go ahead and leave a link to all this down below if you're interested in either just checking them out or picking one up yourself. Uh, with all that, I would love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell, Valentino, Sledgehammer, Phil, Mac, Kyle, Timo, Anthony, and Chris Curtis. Thank you guys so much. And big thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. With all of that said, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.